Hey everyone, this is Kyle, lead developer for the Byte Battle game. Um, today is the beta launch, so I, I wanted to create a quick little tutorial here to show you some first steps of getting started uh, with playing Byte Battle. So um, the, by the time that you see this, you'll be on the main website where you'll see a sort of navigation menu on the side here where you can go back to the home screen um, and some uh, other useful little buttons on the side. But uh, for now, this is still um, on the uh, uh, sort of test um, website. So um, yeah, let's get let's jump in. Let's get started. So there's three options to, to sign up and to register for the game. Um, you can always sign up with a username and password by clicking here, sign up, right? Pretty standard. You can connect your Web3 wallet, which is your MetaMask account, um, or you can play as a guest. Um, Playing as a guest, if you click on these little buttons here, they'll tell you like what's going on with it. So the guest account, you could just uh, sign up. You don't have to uh, create a, a username or password or anything. You could just try the game out, uh, but it won't. Um, the game won't uh, track your scores or keep track of your data. It won't save any of that stuff. So it's you, it's definitely recommended that you create an account, even if it's just with you know signing up with the username and password. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that here, um, just for the sake of uh, showing you how, to, how it works. I already created an account, so I'll sign in. Cool. So a couple first things you'll notice is the very first screen that you see will be a welcome screen. Um, and if there's some helpful information on there, so you can just click on awesome, let's go. Um, and then this will be the main menu, right? Uh, in here, the, up on your top left, you have a settings menu, which you can turn on music. Uh, that's your settings menu right there. This is your profile button. So if you click on that, there's some helpful information in here. So depending on how you created your account, if you created it with your Web3 wallet, you'll see a button here that says um, add your Web2 username, password. So basically, you can click on that and you can fill out the little form that pops up. And then you'll see your name, your email, um, and like a, a you know, what, what your password currently is. And if you ever um, lose your password or you lose your um, password, if you ever need to reset your password, um, you could do so uh, when you uh, on the login, the, the first login screen. Um, anyway, so you can reset your display name at any time. So you can, you know, if I if I want to reset that, I can change my name to be whatever I want. Um, that doesn't affect your username. Your username always stays tied to your account. In here, you have some player statistics. You have your total kills, your total deaths, and your total XP, which is your experience points. Your experience points is what drives this sort of rank system down here, right? Um, so right now, everyone that starts the game is, starts at rookie, the rookie uh, rank, uh, and then you progress up based on how much XP that you earn while playing matches, right? So we'll get into that in a second. Um, this bar down here is for future stuff, so you can kind of disregard that for now because none of this is going to be enabled at the time of beta launch. Um, anyway, so a couple buttons down here are currently disabled, the weekly tournaments and the shop. Uh, both of those are turned off for now. Those are going to be enabled uh, in a couple weeks here. Um, anyway, so if you explore some options here, so the character uh, selector, we only have one character, one default character uh, available for now um, when you first sign up. And then as you progress through the rank system uh, and you increase more XP and you get up higher and higher in ranks, then you unlock cool stuff, right? Um, so that's where this conquest button comes in. So you click on this conquest button, it shows you how much XP you currently have, what your current rank is, and the rank required and the XP required for each thing to unlock right so i've already unlocked the military helmet so that's in my cosmetics which we'll look at in a second um i need 25 xp uh to unlock this new character here all right and so these bars represent how how far you have to go in order to unlock that stuff right um so i need the rank of private and i need 25 xp so private i know is going to be my next rank up because the bar is the most full right and i only have i have 14 and 25 right so that's the next thing that i'm going to be unlocking the more i play um yeah so that's pretty much it for that 
in your customize when you do unlock stuff it shows up here so you can click on your you know whatever assets you want to uh, put on your character and you click OK and then it shows up here right and you can even click on the character and he says little funny messages um, anyway so in the ranking tab this is the, the global scoreboard uh, for all of the players in the game uh, I think it only populates 10 the top 10 at a time and then if you hit my rank um, it'll show you your rank if there's a thousand players it'll just give you the sort of 10 players around you right um, so for for now uh, since we just reset everything just to get ready for the beta launch uh, there's only three players um, there's myself dealt wildman so we're the testers um, in your friends button here you can add your friends by typing in their username um, and click on this little button here so you can add them um, but that comes handy later when you create matches when you create custom games you can add your friends to the custom games and they'll see an invitation pop up and they can join your game later on we're probably in the ranking system we're probably going to add a button here um, so if there's a thousand players and you played with somebody that you really like or you know if you want to add like some of the top three player top ten players or whatever you can maybe just click on a little button and add them to your friends list so stuff like that's coming coming later on uh, the news section is just basic patch notes and stuff this is going to be built out a little bit more in the future um, just gives you some uh, idea of what's going on in the latest release um, of course you're you know this is a dis basic discord link uh, which is in the main website as well um, in the uh, settings menu you can check out the support uh, tab which opens up a separate web page um, and the EOLA tab opens up the uh, end user license agreement so you should be able you should check that out um, you can also log out here which will bring back to the login screen anyway so for that boring stuff out of the way um, if we hit the battle button there's three options so you choose a match type right quickie matches allow you to gain XP allow you to gain more experience points right so those are the matches you're gonna want to join most of the time by playing a quick match it allows other players to just randomly join your match so whoever is online at the current moment if they hit that button too within like a sort of one or two minute time frame they'll they'll automatically join your match um, and you gain experience points that way by playing quick matches there's always somebody to play with so it's it's really um, that's the way to go whitelist matches will be available around June 6th um, so we have that sort of tentative uh, date there um, and custom matches if we click on custom match um, obviously there's no custom games it tells you to create one so we can cut and create right now you can only create practice matches which do not add XP add experience points to your account um, this is just for fun just, just for testing out and stuff um, so you could choose which map you want to test um, you can choose how many players you want to add if it's just you and a buddy um, you can uncheck create bots and then you can add let's say wildman um, so I have two friends I can add Delt or I can add wildman or it, this this list could be however long you want depending on how many friends you have uh, if you click that add button it shows up a little invite list if you want to remove them you click the little remove button right and you can go ahead and cre click create and that'll send you this little screen here where you can you know chat with your friend while you're waiting for the match to start um, and uh, as soon as the match starts then you jump in the game so let's quickly go back to the battle button here we'll jump into a quickie match I'll show you what that looks like um, so when you hit the quick match button it's gonna say finding quick quick match um, players join is one of eight because you're currently just one waiting in this lobby um, if there's not already a quick match available to, to join right away um, you might not even see the screen it might automatically pop you right into a, a match that's already that already exists otherwise if there's not one created um, then it's gonna create one for you and it's just gonna wait about a minute until more people join the match um, and there's always usually somebody to play with um, and so uh, it's going to count down until uh, the sort of minimum players for the match is started, which is random. So it's usually around, it's either between three and seven players. So a couple helpful things. During the game, uh, as you see in your bottom left here, the Q key is controls. So if you hit the Q key, it'll show you what all the controls are. Shoot is your... Uh, 
Uh, left click button. This guy's trying to kill me here. God, here, copy. And uh, your grenade is your middle mouse button. And your melee is your right click button. Right? And then your uh, emotes are 1, 2, and 3. Right? So that kind of sticks with you. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And your special weapon is your F key. Right? So if I hit the F key, and of course I died. If you die, it takes five seconds to respawn. And let me go up here so I can show you. Get away from me. It really wants to kill me. If I hit the uh, F key, that's my special weapon, so that makes me kind of woozy. So the uh, commoners have the beer, uh, which uh, gets you kind of drunk, right? So if I exit out of this, if I hit, it, hit the escape key, um, I can quit and return to the main menu. So I'll do that. Just a couple last few components on the main menu here. Um, you'll see this connect wallet button up here. Um, if you register your account with the, you know, the, the username, email, and password, um, then you'll see this connect wallet button. And uh, this will come in handy when we enable the shop and the weekly tournaments. Um, but for now, if you want to connect it, that's great. Um, you can you can connect it from here. Um, otherwise, you can always log in with your Web3 wallet if you do. Once you do connect it from here, um, you'll always be able to log in with it from the login screen, from the, the very first screen, right? Um, so once you associate your public wallet address with the game, then you can log in with it too. Um, so I, it's, there's always there's always two options. You can either log in with your email and password or just by hitting the connect wallet button, right? Um, you can always keep it separate and connect your wallet from from here if you want to uh, access these these new features later on down the road. So, anyway, um, aside from that, there is in in your player pro player info tab here. Um, I did want to cover the PFP, so you can create you can upload your own PFP from an Imgur link. Um, currently, it's just just an Imgur link. So if you go to Imgur, you sign up for a free account, right? Um, you can upload an image, right, or a couple images or whatever. Um, if you click on the image, um, let's see, I'll click on, I don't know, like this guy here. Um, the direct link link is the one that you want, right? So you click on copy. So that's the one that you want. And you go here and you can paste that in and you click on update, profile click updated, and um, it'll show up here. It'll show up in the main menu. And of course, it'll show up in the ranking system uh, for everyone else to see, right? So that's a cool way to update your PFP. Later on, we're going to add in like a PFP creator. Um, once we do the uh, NFT mint. Um, so basically you'll be able to take your NFT character, put a bunch of cosmetics on him, customize them the way you want, uh, change up the background and stuff, and you can create your own PFP and you can store it in the game and you'll be able to export it too as a JPEG for social media and stuff. Um, that's coming a little bit later on though. Just wanted to let you know that's, that's uh, the sort of thing is in the works. Um, anyway, yeah, so up here you'll see your rank system. So as you know, as you progress through the conquest and stuff the more xp that you have this basically tells you how far you have to go until you hit the next rank right so that that bar will increase as your xp increases uh, and it'll reset every time you hit a new rank so you just kind of go up and up and up and up yep um anyway i have a taste for destruction and pizza <laughs> cool so that's pretty much uh the the basic tutorial for you know how to get started with the game um obviously we are all going to be on Discord, so uh, join us there if you have any questions or you know if there's any anything peculiar that you notice in the game, feel free to let us know. Obviously, this is a beta, um, so there there might be things that we're going to be consistently adding and tweaking and stuff as uh, as the game uh, progresses um, here as we continue building things. Right. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, um, and I hope to see you in uh, in a game very soon here. All right, guys. All right, thanks so much for watching. Talk to you later.